Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus, it's Dana. How's it rolling? How's everybody feeling out there? You got all four feet on the ground. You're feeling in control and positive and ready to move forward. Fantastic. I want to do a reading for Taurus because of the Pisces full moon, right? Full moon, partial lunar eclipse, right? I want to do a reading for that because um, I just really, 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 really want to know what's coming down the road for us. I am Taurus. I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising. Pisces Venus, but I am a Taurus Sun. So let's see what the heck this brand new gigantic cycle is. A huge cycle came to an end. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, snuggle up to the table, get comfortable. And if you're coming back to the channel, come on in. You know where everything's at. Help yourself to whatever you want in the kitchen. I got some good food cooking on the stove and let's just have a sit down all right there is a super thanks button somewhere on your screen that y'all can just push anytime you so feel compelled and if you stick around to the end of the reading i will tell you all about my book the ultimate step-by-step -step guide to your spiritual awakening Let's talk about some things. Let's do it. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out all the cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you for a good solid minute. And I'm going to sew together a story, okay? You ready? Let's go. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus, we want to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Taurus? And what do they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? What does Taurus need to know? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to, to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's go. All right, Taurus. All right, this is awesome. This is amazing. This is awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, let's do this, okay? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, you guys, so we have a Taurus here. Okay, we have a Taurus here that is wondering in the Seven of Cups what the literal fuck. Okay, they're, they're wondering what's going on with my life? Where do I go from here? What's next? What's next? What do I do? Where do I go from here? The Eight of Swords, right? All kind of trapped in your head in a little bit of fear. Like kind of like immobilized in your mind by some fear. Okay, and the, that's that seven of cups, right? The who, what, when, where, why, what do I do? Where do I go? What's next? What do I need to be doing right now? Where do I need to focus is the seven of cups and the eight of swords, right? Okay, all right. Two of swords joins them and says, this is, you're at a crossroads, obviously. This is the crossroads. This is the next chapter of your life. So Taurus, if you are feeling discombobulated, if you're feeling out of focus, if you don't know what's next, if you don't know what's going to be happening next, what the next phase and the next chapter of your life is about, because the Pisces full moon, right? The Pisces full moon is the end of the cycle and not to mention the partial lunar eclipse. Things are stopping. Life is changing drastically for a lot of people, okay? All right, you're at a crossroads. You don't know the who, what, where, when, why, and how, and you're not getting any information. You're not getting any downloads. You're not getting any breadcrumbs. You just don't know what the heck to do next, okay? Followed by the Four of Cups right here. This Four of Cups is about being emotionally apathetic, Okay, and the universe is saying your 
emotional apathy is why you are at this crossroads. Okay, let me tell you why. Let me explain. Your emotional apathy is why you are at this crossroads. Okay, the Queen of Cups in reverse. That goes right along with emotional apathy. Okay, to the King of Cups and the Fool. All right. So what this is saying is that this particular Taurus is somehow emotionally codependent on a situation in their life. But more importantly, that emotional attachment to some relationship in their life is why they can't make a decision about their future. Okay? It's all going to make sense in a second. The King of Cups comes on top of this. This says to tap into your true, higher, ancient self. The King of Cups is the ancient self for me as a reader. The ancient self. The King of Cups is emotionally strong, emotionally intelligent, and most importantly, he knows that he knows that he knows that where he's going and what he's doing and how he's feeling about these things in his life is 100% satisfying. And then the Fool comes on top of the King of Cups and talks about a new direction, a new beginning, a new journey a new direction. Okay? So what's going on here with the Taurus? Well, the Taurus is at a crossroads. They're not focused. They're, they have options, choices, decisions. They're not getting any downloads. They don't know what to do. They're kind of immobilized in their mind. They're at the crossroads of their future. And in order to clear this up, right, the cards are saying, stop being emotionally apathetic about what it is you want to manifest in your life. Consider, pay attention to this emotional codependency because as we get down here, that's going to have a big play, okay? Find your true self, find your true north, attach into that ancient soul that was here before you were born, the same soul that you were born to, the same soul that's going to pick up on the other side of things. We don't switch souls. Souls are, are forever. Souls don't end. So you are the same being that you have always been. You just happen to be expressed in this form, in this lifetime, right now. Tap into your ancient higher self and buckle up baby because there is a brand new chapter of your life about to unfold okay about to unfold the fool doesn't want to know the who what why when where and how right you over here want to know the who what why when where and how what do i do where do i go how do i get there what doors do i need to walk through what do i need to do to get to the next chapter of my life and these cards are telling you what you need to do to get to the next chapter of your life is to find and connect with your ancient higher self to the fool. Close your eyes, feel it, and you will be led and guided every step of the way to the next journey, through the next journey, and beyond. Okay? All right. I asked, where's this fool? taking Taurus. What's the new beginning? What's the new journey? Where's it going to where's it going to unfold? How's it going to shake down to the 5 of swords? They came back with the 5 of swords in reverse. This 5 of swords in reverse is about letting go of a mindset. So their answer to me was, when is this going to go? What is it going to be? How are you going to know what it is? You will know as soon as you let go of a white knuckle grip on a mindset, okay? To the three of wands, get ready, be prepared, see the forest through the trees. What's the forest through the trees? This emotional codependency on some kind of a relationship that we're going to talk about in just a second, right? See the forest through the trees, begin to prepare. It's already waiting for you but you have to tell the universe what it is. The chariot. Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to disconnect or check yourself about this 
emotionally codependent connection, okay? Check yourself about it. Step into the chariot and allow the universe to escort you. This chariot is going to take you to the next leg of your journey, the fool. This chariot is going to take you to the fool journey. It's beautiful. It's a problem. Let's go back to this emotional codependency back here with the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? The Six of Cups and the Hierophant in reverse. This relationship, you, this particular Taurus has to step out of their comfort zone in order for them to be able to unravel, unwrap, and step into the new chapter, the next phase of their life. The Six of Cups is about Taurus being comfortable. You could be comfortable at a job. You could be comfortable in a house, a home relationship, a romantic relationship, um, friends. Somehow, this Taurus is very, very comfortable, and their level of comfort in this situation is the emotional codependency of that Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Hierophant in reverse says, in order for you to go on the next journey, you must cut loose of ties, commitments, and obligations that are feeding an unhealthy piece of you. Okay? The Hierophant in reverse is about a reevaluation of your core root belief systems. Princess of Wands in reverse, because this emotional codependency is what keeps you from putting in the effort to take action, to make a decision about your life. Justice. It's in your best interest. It's always in your best interest, justice is. It's good and right and proper. More importantly, it's about your accountability for your life. It's about not getting sucked up and consumed by the weak aspects of our nature and pushing forward and fighting. I asked this Princess of Wands in reverse, right? Eight of Swords in reverse. New perspective. New perspective. I asked about justice. And I got the Eight of Swords in reverse. New perspective. What's the justice? What brings conclusion and forward momentum into your life, Taurus, is a new perspective. Remember that Eight of Swords, this is mo immobilized. Why? Because of this emotional codependency to some kind of comfort zone. What's justice? What's good and right and proper is a new perspective. Three of Pentacles, a new perspective to have some teamwork and some collaboration with universal order. Mm -hmm. They need you to contribute somehow, and I'm going to tell you how in just a second, okay? They need you to contribute to this situation so things can be attracted to your frequency. Why? King of Wands in reverse, because you're acting like a human, right? You're acting like a human. Um, and that's kind of what the, the voice in my head just said, right? You're acting like a human. Stop acting like a human and act like the King of Cups. Act like the ancient soul that you are. Stop processing life from a human perspective and begin to process life from the King of Cups. So you can hop in the chariot and it, it can escort you to the new phase and the new chapter and the new journey of your life. But you're all hung up on some kind of, like I said, a, a, a toxic spot. The Page of Swords. Page of Swords comes on top of this and talks about planting new seeds of thoughts in your mind. Thinking a different way, beginning to think a different way. I cannot make this up. Six of Swords in reverse because the mental baggage of not recognizing this emotional codependency thing here, right? Um, on, on a comfort zone. Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action. You can't take any action 
until you begin to plant new seeds of thoughts in your mind because that's what creates our reality. Right now, the internal subconscious of this particular Taurus doesn't want to step out of a comfort zone. They don't want the discomfort of manifesting something that they truly want in their life. And very interesting. Let's see. The Two of Cups, okay? This, I, I, asked, I asked, what is this Two of Cups? And it's the Seven of Cups. It's the same Seven of Cups up here. So what is Taurus um, unclear about? What is this emotional codependency? It is some kind of relationship in your life. Like I said, could be your work, could be your job, could be your career, could be your company. It could be your father, your mother, your son, your daughter, your sister, your brother. It could be your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friend friend. It could be anything for anyone. If you want to get into the nitty gritty of your details, schedule a reading at thepathofpurpose.org and we can read your cards. But for this general reading, I don't know. But it's somebody that you don't want to have to disengage from in order to do something different in your life. Okay, the magician in reverse is in the center of your reading. And I'm going to, it's all going to gel when we get right here. The Four of Swords. All right, they're saying you got to contemplate and reevaluate. You got to come to terms with the grief or the sorrow or the pain that would be, that's the Eight of Swords, right? That would be if you cut loose of ties, commitments, and obligations to some kind of safe place in your life. You have to come to terms with that. You have to pick up the Fourth Sword. You have to bring stability to your mindset and push forward. What do you have to come to terms with here? Well, the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. What you got to come to terms with here, the Magician in Reverse. What needs to happen is you need to make a decision, a very, very serious decision about what true happiness is to you. What is true happiness? Because if this emotionally codependent relationship, and it doesn't have to be ugly, right? It doesn't just because it's emotionally codependent, it doesn't have to be ugly, okay? But this emotionally codependent relationship is keeping you from deciding what it is you want your whole life to look like. And you have to come to terms with it and really contemplate and get solid in your mind what is happiness to you. The high priestess talks about healing and perhaps this emotional codependency has something to do with your history somehow, some way. More importantly, the high priestess is about your soul speaking to you trying to get you to understand that the only way to navigate this crazy thing called life is to be in touch with your higher ancient self. Ask yourself very, very seriously. Write yourself a short little letter that you can read 10 years from now. What do you want from your life? That's why there's all the confusion and the immobilization. That's why Source is telling you, get on, get, get, on, get on your King of Cups energy. Get on your King of Cups energy. Let go of a mentality. Stop being emotionally apathetic to what you want from your life. Hop on the fool. Close your eyes. Feel your soul. Let go of a mindset. Get ready. We're going to bring it to you, but we don't know what to bring to you because what you're manifesting isn't really what you want. Chariot, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Recognize this emotional codependence to an extremely comfortable place and reevaluate your core belief system. What's your core belief system? What are they asking you to reevaluate? What do you want with the Ten of Cups? The high priestess, tell us what you want, Taurus, and, and we'll help you. Tell us what you want. She's over here on the bottom of the deck, too. Tell us what you want. The alchemist in reverse, in the center of the reading. 
Because if you don't tell us what you want, you're manifesting willy-nilly. You're manifesting all over the place. And, and it's, it's, it's nothing that's going to take you literally into the next phase of your life. The Three of Pentacles. Again, the universe needs some teamwork and collaboration from you, Taurus. The Four of Cups. They need you to contemplate and reevaluate how you are processing your emotional life because of that emotional codependency right there. They need you to see things differently. Let's see, what's, what, what else is a problem here? Well, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse is about being afraid. It's about being afraid that you won't have something to come back to. It's about being afraid that if you do what it is that you ultimately want to do with your life, that it's going to cause some kind of rift or upset, maybe in the family unit, maybe in your sense of stability or peace, maybe in the sense of stability or peace of people around you. So the Five of Cups. This is sadness. I usually see regret when I when I glance at the Five of Cups, but what I see is sadness, right? You're sad. You're worried that a, you won't be able to do it by yourself. You won't be able to do what it is that you won't be able to afford to do what it is that you want to do. But remember, the universe has no limits. Source has no limits. Tell them what you want. Manifest what you want. Sometimes it's small steps, though, right? Sometimes you don't really want what it is that you think that you want. Right? You tell the universe, I want a six bedroom house on a hill with a lake and the woods behind me in the mountains. That's fine and dandy, but you're going to take incremental steps to get there. Believe me. I have a personal story I'm going to share with you guys right now. So I wanted to buy 16 acres. I did. I wanted to buy 16 acres and, well, not specifically 16 acres, but there were 16 acres for sale and I wanted it, wanted to buy it, right? I was, I was just bound and determined that I was going to have my little homestead, my little farm and my little critters all over the place. And that's what I want to do. And um, I was getting things in order to do that, to, to you know, to do it. And then a piece of property came up for rent. I just happened to see it on Facebook Marketplace one day. A piece of property came up for rent. And it was, I think it was 10 acres. And um, it was for rent. And it was a house. And it was, an, it was an all right house, right? I mean, it wasn't what I would actually go build, but it was a nice house. So I go and I rent this house, right? I'm like, all right, well, while I'm getting myself together to buy some property, I'm going to rent this place. So I rent it, put my horse out there, get all moved in and everything. And oh my God, what a freaking chore. What a chore it is to maintain and manicure 10 acres of land. It is a lot. And as the lease went on, I told myself, I am not going to do this. <laughs> and I ended up not doing this. All that to tell you that sometimes the universe will give you what it is that you're asking for, but they will deliver it in such a way that if you, that you're not locked into it right? They're trying to deliver you into the first phase of the next chapter of your life. And they want to know from you what you want it to be. Don't worry. Don't worry about things because if you're going in the direction of universal order, if you're walking in your path and your purpose, this worry is all for naught. Four of Wands in reverse goes with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Cups. Afraid to cut ties, afraid to shake up the family unit, afraid to walk away from some kind of safety. And the Magician in reverse says, this is the problem. It's in your reading twice. And so is the High Priestess, right? This is the problem. The problem is, is that you are so concerned about anything changing in this comfort zone 
that you are not focusing. Look, Queen of Swords, you are not focusing on what needs to be focused on. And your advice here is the Queen of Swords. What do you want? She's right beneath that Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. What do you want? The Magician in Reverse is untapped talents and inability to manifest. What do you want? Willy-nilly manifestation. What do you want? And then the Queen of Wands comes on top of it and says you can have anything that you want. It might not be the way that you think it's going to be, but it's going to be. And if you work it, and if you keep on the path and the purpose, and you keep your eyes closed like the fool, and you feel your way through it all, it's going to compound and compound and compound and compound. Stop worrying that you can't do it. Stop worrying. Stop thinking that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dream. And start doing it. Start focusing on it. Start untangling yourself from this emotionally codependent relationship that you don't want to leave because it feels good and it's safe. The star in reverse. It's not your path. It's not your purpose. Your life cannot be renewed, nine of cups in reverse, in a place of emotional deficiency. You have to temper yourself. Temper yourself. Pull it all together and find peace in the journey. Nine of Wands in reverse. Don't be overwhelmed about what's next. Tell the universe what you want. Despite this emotional connection, despite this worry, this safety zone, despite other people not wanting you to do what it is that you want to do, Temper yourself. Take a breath. Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Because you can't grow the seeds of your life and the seeds of prosperity on emotional wounds. And somehow this relationship has some kind of trauma bond for you some way. Ace of Cups in reverse is repressed emotions. Ace of Cups in the upright is emotional growth. Ace of Cups in reverse is repressed emotions. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you can't grow new opportunities in this. And this is directly associated to the attachment that you have to this comfort zone. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Again, saying maybe you don't feel like you will be stable without this relationship. Maybe you feel like you will lose this relationship if you manifest what it is that you truly want from your life. Four of Pentacles in reverse is about self-protection too. Maybe you're protecting this person. Maybe this person is protective of you. To the Knight of Wands. Take some inspired action to contemplate and reevaluate everything that we've talked about here. Look to the Prince of Wands again. Take action. Go. Take action. Go. Take action. Go to the world. It's time. It's time for whoever needed to hear this to come to terms with the safety zone and step out. Follow the fire in your guts and step out. You have all the tools that you need. The world is the last card in the major arcana. You have all the tools that you need to step into the next phase of your life. And you will take everything that you have learned throughout your entire life and you will compound it into the next journey of your life. King of Cups in reverse, but someone doesn't want you to go. Someone doesn't want you to go. I think someone else is just as emotionally codependent on you as you are on them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm hmm To the tower, right? This other person feels that if you did what it is that you truly want to do, that everything would implode, that everything would fall, 
Maybe you're the foundation. Maybe you're the rock of the family. Maybe you're the rock of the family. Maybe you're like me. You're the rock of the family and you want to go travel. I want to go travel. I toured the country a couple of years ago in a Sprinter van, and I want to do it again, but this time I want to do it um, in a Living Quarters horse trailer with my horse and maybe, hopefully, some kind of friend or partner to go with me. That would be amazing. And if I did that, I'm the rock of the family. I'm the bedrock of everything. And if I did that, everybody who stands upon me, everybody who is emotionally codependent on me, right, or dependent on me, um, I would be ripping the rug out from underneath their feet if I did that. And since we're getting all personal here, and for me, this Queen of Cups in reverse is my emotional codependency on my identity with the Hierophant right here, that I am the rock. Understand? This could be anything for anybody. But this is what I'm getting for me out of this reading. The Tower. Somebody doesn't want you to go the Tower. Look, but the Wheel of Fortune. But it's your path. It's your purpose. It's your destiny. This next phase of your life is your destiny. Follow the thread in the tapestry of universal order. Come to terms with all of this. Get the fire going on and take action towards it. Queen of Wands. I mean, I couldn't have said it better. Queen of Wands, right? She's here twice for you. The Knight of Wands is here twice. The High Priestess twice. The Magician in Reverse twice. That's a lot, Taurus. That's a lot. The Queen of Wands. The fire in your guts. To the King of Swords in Reverse. Someone doesn't want you to do it. Someone doesn't want you to do it. Someone is discouraging you from doing it. Eight of Cups for their own personal, their own personal emotional dependence on you. It doesn't have to be family. This could be your boss. This could be a job. This could be you selling a company. This could be so many things. Judgment in reverse. And this whole thing right here that I talked about is what keep it, keeps you from pulling the trigger and making the decision. Princess of Swords to the moon in reverse. Just like this one up here. New seeds of thoughts in your mind. Begin to think a different way. Moon in reverse and come to terms with that which you wish wasn't the truth. If we could all just conquer the moon card. I say that all the time. The moon is the struggle between that which we know to be true in our guts and that which we don't necessarily want to be the truth because it doesn't match up with what we want, right? And this safety zone right here is what you want, but yet this particular Taurus feels frustrated in this situation, or we wouldn't have started with the Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. This particular Taurus feels movement, they know things are about to change, and they yeah, got to come to terms with it. Three of Cups in reverse, third-party interference, Eight of Cups, right? No matter what the people beneath this situation are saying to you, third-party interference, right? The Eight of Cups. You have to understand that that you have to go in search of the Nine. You have to go in search of the Nine of Cups. No matter what the people behind you are saying. The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the people behind you, right? Please don't go. Please stay. Um, I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll arrange this. I'll arrange that. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Eight of Wands in reverse, and this is why you don't go. The Ten of Wands in reverse talks about the undoing of an overwhelming burden, right? Set yourself free from the gigantic burden. The Ten of Swords in reverse with the renewal of a mindset. You're not betraying or deceiving anybody by following your soul's journey. It's all human 
processing. Y'all aren't seeing the bigger picture of things. It's all egocentric, self-centered processing. The bigger picture, the high priestess twice, the magician, the the wheel, the world, the bigger the hierophant, the bigger picture is that you are needed someplace else in a renewal of a mindset, just like that five of swords back there is what's important to the eight of pentacles. Work on this. Take this to heart. If this hits, it fits. Take it to heart and see, look around you and see the dynamics of what's going on. Get better, get stronger. Six of cups in reverse, stuck in the past. It goes back to that ace of cups in reverse back here, right? That is repressed emotions. Some kind of connection is keeping you here, but it's not necessarily healthy. And strength says overcome this. You're strong enough. Remember, you have all the tools in that world card to do what it is that you need to do. You're strong. You're courageous. And tell the universe what you want. They're waiting, ready, willing, able, waiting for you to tell them what you want your life to be. The Hermit in Reverse. Withdrawn, isolated, lonely. Princess of Pentacles in Reverse. An inability to manifest. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're just going to continue to get what you've always gotten. Out of touch. A lack of deep soul searching and introspection. Because if you had been doing the soul searching and the introspection, you wouldn't be so confused at the beginning of this reading. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Deep soul searching and introspection about your inability to manifest your sense of well-being somehow. And if you keep doing it the way you've always done it, you're just going to keep getting it the way that you've always gotten it. In the Ace of Swords. Aha! Light bulb moments. Oh, I didn't really see this as a codependent relationship, but I guess I do derive a piece of my identity that I really don't want to give up from it. I didn't realize that I was afraid to leave my safety zone. So, huh, maybe I ought to examine that a little bit more. Oh, I didn't realize that I'm in a state of confusion and frozen in my mind because I don't know what I want. I, I, I'm expecting the universe to deliver, but yet I have requested nothing. All of that. Aha moments. Taurus, tell the universe what you want. Put in some fire. Well, what's deep inside of you, Taurus? What do you want this next journey of your life to be? What do you want it to be, Taurus? The fool, the chariot, the world, the wheel of fortune. Everybody is chomping at the bit to take you exactly where it is that you want to go, even though it might not look exactly like you think it should look. But they're waiting and they're ready. And the time is now. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.